Hello good people of the internet and welcome back to Minecraft. Today I'm showing you another farm I made. Um, as you might have guessed, it's a sheep farm. Now it's always kind of annoyed me that sheep are so unmanageable. You kind of have to run around shearing them and you know you sometimes miss the, the wool as it drops on the ground and it's basically just a pain in the ass. Uh, so I've been wanting to make something to solve this problem for a little while, and now I have. I present to you uh, something I haven't got a name for yet, but hey, it's a sheep farm thing. So basically, the idea is um, you can't just store sheep in a little kind of concrete box because they need grass to eat to refill their to refill to regrow their wool. Um, Hence why you need a big open grassy area. And this is exactly what I have done. Because ideally, you want said big open grassy area um, to be manageable in such a way that somehow uh, they all get kind of funneled into one place so that you can easily shear them or re-dye them or something. Um, so that's what I've done here. So you've got the big grassy open area, and then I have three controls on this version of the farm. Uh, this button activates water, which pushes them all into the center. This pressure plate activates a slime block launcher that shoots them up into this water here. And then this lever activates the trap doors, which you can't really see which are there, um, which stop them falling down into the hole. So Usually when you're not using the farm, you would have this activated so that they can't fall into the hole. As you can see, I'm pushing this sheep and it can't go can't go through because it's too tall. Um, so you can flick that again and allow them to fall in when you want to use it. So I'll just demonstrate quickly. Oh, there you go, there was one already in the hole. Uh, and the idea is, you press the button, all the sheep flow to the center, and then you can fire them up just by press um, standing on this pressure plate and they will come to you and you can shear them one by one and if you don't get the items as you shear them then they all fall down into a hopper where it is all collected uh, so that you don't have to worry about running around the farm and collecting all the wool afterwards um, so we're done with this one there is a slight issue with this version in that when the sheep are in the hole because they're all bumping into each other and trying to get out, as they're fired up, some of them escape back out into the farm, which is what these trap doors do. When they are closed, they can't escape back out. Uh, strangely enough, even though sheep can fit under um, half slabs, the half slabs have the same effect and the sheep don't fly out when they're fired up. So, with that in mind, I came up with a new design. Um, this one doesn't have the trapdoors, so you can decide trapdoors, no trapdoors. If you don't have trapdoors, the sheep will push each other into the hole when you're not using the farm. So that's the reason I put the trapdoors in, but this is just an example of a farm where I've just used half slabs. Uh, in this farm, there is a timer. So, let me demonstrate. When I press this button now, they all funnel into the middle and then they're fired up automatically and as you can see quite a few more come up in one go uh, with this design and because of the new cramming rule um, you can't have too many sheep in or too many of anything in one space at the same time uh, otherwise they'll start taking damage so that is uh, why you really want uh, the sheep to kind of come up at a steady rate instead of them all falling into the middle at the same time and then getting fired up and it just means that you can shear them more manageably and as you can see it's a really easy way of getting all of your sheep sheared or re-dyed quickly just by standing there over here i have a version where i have the trap doors closing just before the pistons fire so that they don't come back out when they're shot up but they also don't fall back into the hole when you're not using the farm. Because as you can see, when you're not using the farm, the trap doors are closed. Um, so all you need to do to use the farm is to press the button. So I'll just put some sheep in here for you. So, yeah, press the button. 
And as you can see, they all come to me, like so. Really easy to shear them or re-dye them. You just stand here and hold right click. So you can hear the trapdoors firing just before this goes up. And the redstone is, is really simple. Um, this line here is what makes the trapdoors close as you um, when you're not using the farm because this block is next to this piston being uh, powered by that redstone torch which then goes through here and etc comes up here and it's all hunky dory. I will stop using that and as you can see it fires one more time uh, once you press the button so no sheep are in there and no sheep can fall down unless they are intersecting the trapdoors which yeah a few of them are but if you have a lot of sheep in this farm which it is designed to have um, it won't really be an issue because you'll have lots of sheep left over anyway I really hope you found it interesting one the other thing to note is this grass here so that even if they eat all of it where they are standing it will regrow let me know if um, you want the tutorial sooner rather than later because I do have a rather busy schedule with university and also I might not get around to it as quickly as some of you might like. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!